Alright, welcome back to part two of Pikachu. Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. That is. So, yeah, if you're just joining in right after part one, we are on Route 3 and we're just going to battle some trainers, level up our Pokemon, and get on to the cave in Mount Moon, I believe. So here's our first trainer, right off the bat. Hopefully our level 6 Pidgey will be strong enough against this Oddish. It should be, it is a flying type. Yeah, level 6 is equal, so that's good. We'll use Gust. Not as effective as I want it. It is super effective, but not as effective for reducing its health. Okay, energy is drained, not a big deal. Uh, I am curious about... No, let's just continue with flying attack. I was gonna use a normal and just see, but... I know flying is strong against grass. It's just currently weak because of its level. But since this is a trainer, I should get decent experience points. Ooh, he grew a bit. Only 31 XP? Seriously? Okay, I'm just curious what's up here. Alright, there's another trainer there. I could go by him, but I also want to see what's down here. Okay, so there's an item here. Which I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have to actually... Drop down there real quick. So let's avoid him for the moment. Drop down here, get this item, and then go back up. And then I think we'll be okay to fight him, even though our Pidgey is weak. Normally I would just go back to the Pokemon Center. And I probably should, but I think I'm just going to give it potion because I don't really care I know I'm gonna be getting more later anyways so let's fight my shorts are cool right you can stare at them I don't think it's safe for me to be staring at your shorts kid it's kind of inappropriate Kelvin all right, we got flying against flying. So let me use tackle, which should be effective enough. Especially if it's only using growl. Hmm, what will sand attack do? I think it reduces its accuracy. And then use Tackle once again. Let's see what Gus does. I'm not expecting it to do much. It's alright. It's effective enough. I like how my Pidgey's just avoiding everything. Yeah, go home and cry, Calvin. He lost, lost, lost. Once again, I can avoid him. What was that? Oh, Mankey. 
But he's just running away. Get back here. I want to catch you. Ah, uh, trap him into a corner. There we go. Gotta catch them all, right? Got a great throw. Hopefully that's enough. Probably have to throw... I was gonna say, might need to throw a Nana at him. But we're good. Pidgey is leveling up. Seems like the Bubble Sword is actually gaining more than I thought. Alright, well, we'll battle this Rattata just to get some more XP. Wow, so minimal though. Wait, did it say Poku? Wait. Did I not catch a Rattata yet? I guess not. Okay, well there we go. We got a Rattata then. <laughs> I thought we've already caught one before. I guess we were just catching Oddishes before. I think I was looking for them in episode one, but they weren't showing up. This will learn Stun Spore too? Yeah. I already have enough with growth. Anything else new? Nope. Alright, so I avoided two trainers. I just want to see what's up ahead. So there's another one there. And there. So regardless, I can't avoid them. So let's fight both of them so I can go back and fight the other ones. Greg looks determined with his Kakuna. All right, Pidgey, let's do this. Use Gust and blow this Kakuna away. Oh yeah, easy. Critical even. Awesome. You know, I'm not really sure why I'm leveling up Mew right now. I guess I'm just kind of curious what kind of moves I can teach it. Oh, this kid's not even a trainer. Oh, he is. You just have to actually activate it. Oh, you know what? As you're talking about shorts, I just remembered that Pikachu has some clothing as well I can put on him. Let me do that after this battle. He can match me with my sportswear. Alright, Pidgey. Blow this Rattata out of the water. Or actually, no, not out of the water. Blow it out of the grass. Because you are a flying type, not grass. Or not, not water. But I guess flying isn't very effective, so... That's okay. If it paints, it paints. Not a big deal. Ooh, clutch. Youngster Ben? 
I didn't even realize that was his name. Didn't look at it. Didn't look at it at the beginning of the battle. All right. Oh, there's an item here. I didn't even see that. It's a lure. Nice. Rotata just disappeared. We can go for another Mankey, but I think I'm gonna actually battle her. Did you push me? No. Let's go, Robin. Let's see what your Nidoran's got. Oh, and I just forgot to. My Pidgey's basically dead. Well, because I don't want to use an item, let's swap it for my Pikachu. And just, yeah, basically electrocute it. Come on, Pikachu, I know you can do it. This is crazy, I can't... It's so crazy to think that the Pikachu is level 32 right now. I barely had to do anything. You know how much you had to grind that? Grind fights for... Before your Pokemon could level up like that in the old game? You had to grind a lot. And the strategy too is obviously to swap merit into the first slot. So you'd always be swapping him out, playing with different Pokemon. Speaking of which, I forgot to swap out my Pidgey once again, but that's okay. I will swap out my Pikachu in the middle of this battle. I'm going to try a different attack, just see what they're like. Let's try... Let's try Thunder Wave. I can't remember what it looks like. Oh, okay. Cool. It's paralyzed. Oh, but he was able to use his Poison Sting? Now I wonder, did they keep it where... You keep... Your Pokemon keeps getting poisoned as you block? Outside of battle. I'll have to check that out. Oh cool, look at that animation effect. That's awesome. Did you learn mirror move? That's neat. You got two great balls. Well, thank you. So, it doesn't look like it's doing any sort of status effect on my trainer. So... That's interesting. I guess I took that out. How damaged is Pikachu? It is poisoned. Is that 75? Let's see, uh... Let's see if running around does affect him. It used to be like every step would give you reduction in... Yeah, so it's not... Being poisoned seems to only affect you in battle, not in the, the world screen. And here we go. Clothing. Choose an outfit for Pikachu. Let's give him a sports cap like me. There we go. We can also put on sportswear. Ha, ah, look at that, we're matching now. And let's switch to me and see if I have... I do not. I do not have any other accessories right now, so... Cool. There we go. Now I'm curious, what's the heart scale again? It's extremely rare and some people are happy to receive one. Hmm. I wonder if that's a specific person. That could be sold for a high price. And I believe, yeah, this will be right to the Pokemon Center. So 
Let's get our Pidgey back up. I'm almost tempted to actually swap back out my Bubble Sword into slot 1. But I think I'm gonna level up Pidgey. So I'm gonna actually put Bulbasaur. Do I want to? Yeah, I think I'm gonna put Bulbasaur into my Pokeball and walk around with it for a day. All right, so we've already battled all of these trainers. Another Mankey there. Just want to see if anything else shows up. Oh, Bubble Sword found something. Come on. What'd you find? A Nanab. Cool. Did they, were they just growing on that plant? On that bush? Got another Spiro. And a ball, or an item, I guess. Not really a Pokeball. It just looks like a Pokeball. Unless, I guess you could, you probably could throw an item in a Pokeball. I guess I'm just used to it being, let's get another one. I guess I'm just used to it being Pokemon only in the Pokeball. Okay, so it looks like, so even though I turned my controller a little bit, I'm throwing it straight, but it wants me to actually throw it straight, almost like a, like a flick of the wrist, you know, like a backhand throw. Kind of knowledge you get. Let's take a little rest here. That tunnel from Cerulean City takes a lot out of you. Does it now? There's another coach trainer. Nothing over there. Nothing there. Let's go up here and I don't believe she's a trainer, so let's talk to her. She tripped over a Geo dude. Well, that's not nice. I want to see what's in this item. An escape rope. Cool. That'll help me get out of the cave. And let's see what this guy's got. Came to Mount Moon from far away because he wants a Pokemon that he can ride on. That's right, you can ride on certain Pokemon like an Onyx. Nice. Now I don't think we really affected our Pokemon at all. So let's just do this anyways. And uh, I believe that's going to be the end of the episode. Well, let me just see what's up ahead here on the road, and uh, we'll see what we'll we'll do. So this is the tunnel to Mount Moon. All right, we will go in there and check that out on the next episode. And we will talk to some of these people too when we come back. So there you have it. We basically only did Route 3 in this episode. Battled a couple trainers and made a little bit of progress. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We are uh, definitely becoming a little more knowledgeable in the game. And apparently I shook, shook my controller there. Pikachu is kind of sleeping. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. We will uh, continue with episode 6 soon. Uh, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to comment below. Let me know what you guys like. Uh, you know, some changes we can maybe do. Uh, give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll uh, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.